Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Hobbyist. Today I have another unboxing for you all. This is from Amazon. Now, this is a company that uh, has gotten really popular these days, I feel. And uh, to be honest, <laughs> I had no idea that it was this company until I saw what it's coming in. Now, this is a multi-pack of diamond paintings. Um, I rarely get, or so far, well, no, I, I rarely ever get diamond paintings from Amazon that aren't multi-packs, simply because they're either really expensive or premium kits, or which still means that they're expensive, but um, I, oh, there's a tab to open it anyways. But um, I was in, so anyways, this is a company that's gotten a lot of attention. Um, and they ship in boxes. Now, um, I, my mom was like, hey, I want you to make, if you can, of course, a diamond painting for Christmas. And so um, I said, well, I don't want to buy it because I don't have <laughs> money. So and I'm also on a ban from buying more diamond paintings. So my mom just bought or sponsored this. Now, um, I originally didn't think that this was from Art Dot, or I didn't remember this from Art Dot. Uh, I just thought it was one, another one of those four packs, but I'm very excited. So as you can see, it comes in this nice box. Um, also, these are my. This is going to be my Christmas diamond painting, or one of them is going to be one. Of, is going to be a Christmas diamond painting for me. So uh, it says Art Dot, and I also really like this logo. I think it looks really nice. Um, life is more fun when you paint by diamonds, by diamond as an artist. Um, me and my <laughs> student brain, because I am still a student, says that that's, that's a sentence. Um, that's not perfect, but <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> I'm crazy, so. Uh, let me see. I thought that... Is there... Am I missing something? I thought that you can... Oh, you should probably look at the back. So this is what the back looks like. It has instructions on how to diamond paint perfectly um, <laughs> normal, I guess. <laughs> um, I know I love a lot of Art Dot's kits. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something. Because I've seen all these YouTubers opening Art Dot kits. And like, the box is so perfect. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we can just take it out. Um, really, so really nice packaging. Um, so I mean, just slide it out like this. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, wait. I just poured everything out. Okay, I'm definitely keeping this box. <laughs> um, and oh god. Okay, so I, I feel like I'm bouncing around a lot. I'm sorry if I miss anything. So really interesting thing is that they come flat. I've never seen a diamond painting kit come flat like this. And if I'm being completely honest, this is the way to go. Um. I feel like more diamond paint companies should be doing this because there is not a single crease in this kit and it it feels like it just came out, it's like brand new and it just came out of the factory, which it did. Um, <laughs> uh, and I really like it because you don't have to flatten it and there's no bubbles or rivers, but it's poor glue, I think. So you don't need that. Um, okay. So I want to do a couple of things with this. I want to know if these are true to size um, yada, 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 um, I can already see that the, this glue is very glittery, which is always <laughs> a big plus. So I'm going to flip this over for now, and we're going to take a look at the toolkit, because this toolkit, I forgot how nice this toolkit is. Hmm, this is an interesting tray. So, um, okay, I'm going to take everything out. So let's start with... Actually, we're gonna leave this for last. So we have a normal green tray. We have three pens, three single placers, um, with a three, a six, and a ten placer, or the three, six, nine. I don't know. Um, then we have lots of wax. You're not gonna need this much wax. This could be enough wax to do a couple large paintings. Um, it is the not very good stuff. You can see right through it. Um, but you know, I I have wax so. Um, and then we have this interesting tray where you can put your pen in here. I'm sure you've seen a ton of YouTubers do this, but you put your pen in here. Um, now I use a resin pen because I cannot really use these because my fingers are very long, very interesting stuff. 
Um, and they don't really fit pens like that. So I have to use a resin pen, so this is not going to work for me. But it will be interesting to see about the grooves in this tray because I have some problems with grooves in some trays. Sorry about that cut. Um, so yes, really nice toolkit. It's a little different. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I love it a lot. Um, now, of course, the idea behind this toolkit is that it's more cohesive, I think. Because with most diamond painting kits, or like multi-packs, you get one toolkit for everything. But, or one toolkit for each uh, painting. Where with this one, you get one really nice cohesive toolkit for all four paintings. So I really enjoy that. I think that um, it looks... I feel like this company puts a lot of time and effort and thought and energy into actually thinking about what would be best for the customer. Uh, and I really, really appreciate that. So already would 100% recommend this company, especially for beginners. Um, even though the wax isn't amazing, I think that you will be able to deal with it. And you can get a nice multi-piece or collection off of this. So I'm going to put that away. Um, yeah, really nice toolkit. Uh, of course, it's no Diamond Art Club, but this was like $22, or was it 14 I forget. Uh, there's too many multi-packs out there. Um, but I will put the price up on the screen and maybe the listing if I can find it again. Um, okay, so these are the diamonds for all of this. We'll put them to the side. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. And then let's go through the diamond paintings one by one. So this one, okay. Nice. This is, I, I'm enjoying this. I'm going to take you guys off for this because I, I don't want the glare to be so prevalent. Um, I'll put a picture up for you again. Uh, it says 30 by 40. It has branding, which I have not had in a canvas in a while. Um, besides Diamond Art Club and Vizu Arts. I don't think I've had branding in a, com uh, in a um, canvas in a long time. So we have also... So we have like trees up here. Um, I don't think it's gonna look pixelated. Oh, then we have a nice little cabin, which really I, I like a lot. I like cabins, I don't know why. Um, I'm gonna try to get the glare out of the way. We have a nice little path, a nice little river that's probably frozen over, and a deer, um, and of course more trees. Now, I'm gonna admit something to you guys, and I hope it doesn't give away, well, it probably doesn't give away where I live, but I live in a place where it doesn't snow. Um, and I know, now my cousins live in a place that's snow, so I'm going to move you guys a little bit. Um, and whenever I tell them that I don't see snow yearly, they're very confused. So I've only seen slash felt snow like three times in my life. So the idea of snow isn't, like, I know a lot of people think like snow is really annoying sometimes, but this is purely magical. And I don't, I don't know. I really like it. So this has 19 colors, and I'm sure that that's enough for this canvas. It's mostly all grays, whites, and blues. Um, oh, we didn't look at the print quality, but I can tell you already that the print quality is fantastic. Uh, standing up, let me show you. Standing up, well, it's probably closer to like that. Standing up from here, you can even read the symbols. That's an A. That's a four. Now, an A and a four together don't make me happy. Um, actually, let's take a look at stuff like that because we didn't look at that. Twos and threes together, I don't like. Sorry about my nails, they're too long. But the twos and threes are fairly different colors, but I'm, I'm still... Okay, Ys and Ks. I, I saw this problem uh, in another unboxing of Art Dot. Uh, canvas is super glittery, you can even see it on the camera. Let's take a look at the deer. Us, sixes, and X, that's gonna be fine, I think. A's and fours are gonna be a little bit of a problem. T's, ones, twos, and threes right there. T's and ones, I might get mixed up a little bit. Sorry, it's not super steady. Fours and eights, I don't like. But besides that, it's pretty good. So, um, if I'm going to be completely honest, I don't like the, the symbols that they chose. I think that if I had a recommendation, um, recommendation it would be go through it maybe even complete the diamond painting, and then go back and change things. Um, I know this company, you can already tell by the toolkit and the packaging that this company cares. Um, and I think that if you want to go the extra mile, you're going to want to put 
better symbols in. Sorry, I'm gonna sit down, you guys, um, because it's gonna be a little bit of a longer video. So, um, on top of that, it has the thumbnail on one side. Oh, 30 by 40. We need to measure that. Um, I, ooh, actually, okay. I'm thinking it's canvas size. Yes, it is. So, this is just short of 30. It's something like 29 and 3 quarters. Um, and that's canvas size. And then this is... Um... Like 20, ooh, I think I did that wrong. No, that, that is almost 40. So, um, if I'm being honest, I'm a little disappointed there. Uh, I thought it was gonna be true 30 by 40, but you know, what can you expect? Um, and also the canvas, even the canvas is a little smaller. I think they do say allow like two to three centimeters and that's okay. Um, so it has a steps note, please complete the torn part in time. Oh, so I guess they mean like when you peel back the cover. Oh. Glue, nice and sticky. Um, this is a really good chance. This is a really great chance to use ABs, and I'm going to be using ABs definitely. Um, so this is canvas number one. Also, the branding I really like. Um, just in general, actually, I'm gonna write this. Uh, the branding in general. Um, so yes, very very good. We will come back to that for the diamonds. <gasps> this is the one that I wanted to do. Oh, and I love it. I love it already. Okay, now something that you should know about me is that I hate confetti in all forms. <laughs> um, I'm currently doing, I started a, another painting last night and it has confetti and I'm sad. <laughs> so um, I'll put a picture up of the canvas, or, of the original picture. This canvas is again, 30 by 40. I think all of them are, and this has 18 colors. Now what drew me to this canvas was how much color blocking I knew there'd be. And also, there are stars in the sky, and I'm going to put ABs in there. I love any chance to use ABs. Actually, I might put um, crystals in there if I have enough. So then we have a moon and some clouds. That's going to look so good when it's done. I'm so happy. And we have a nice little clock tower. Now, there is almost no confetti in here. Um, we will go back and look at the symbols and if they will get mixed up. I'm gonna try to get this glare out. So yes, um, this canvas, the, the printing quality is a little bit more blurry on this one. Um, I think it's with the colors that have, that are white. The colors that are black are great. Like you can see that. But the colors, or the, the symbols that are white, you can't really. See, you see this, the, the print is in, oh, we got, you can't even. You see how the K, the background is so dark that they need to print it in white. I think it's a little blurry, but I understand that. Now, there's not too much color blocking down here, which I'm a little surprised about. It's a lot of confetti, and you can't even see that that well. But it is a really beautiful canvas, and I'm so excited to get to work on this one. This is probably the one that I'm going to work on first. So there are some confusing symbols, uh, particularly down here in the snow area, which is where I don't want symbols to be confusing. F and four and sometimes S I can mix up and they're all right next to each other. So that's not good. Six and eight, the different enough colors that I don't need a light pad. Oh God, I just noticed that there's, there are some fives in there and I could barely even notice I didn't even see those until I looked really closely. So that is not fantastic. But everywhere else, it's looking pretty good. It's just these like grayish blue areas in here. Um, but yeah, I think it's great. I, I'm gonna assume that they are the same size as the last one. So recommendations for this canvas. Art Dot, if you're listening, please check your symbols before you release paintings. I think that people will appreciate it if you delay the release of paintings more just because it'll make it so much easier to work on your product and I will be able to recommend 100%. Right now, I, I don't think I, I wouldn't be comfortable in recommending this company for anyone. Um, I think you need to have, you need to be a, at least intermediate to work on this one. I mean, of course, you can be a beginner, but everyone has their tips and tricks. You, you need to figure out tips and tricks for this kind of canvas um, where it's hard to tell. Okay, and that one's gonna look really good when it's done too. Now, oh God, okay. So this one's sideways. Okay, that's not too bad. 
So actually in camera it looks really good, but in real life it doesn't look as good. So we have a really nice blue and orange sky. This has 19 colors. Um, we have some nice trees over here, which look really good on camera in real life. Not so much, but that's normal. A nice little cabin with a nice little lake and mountains over here. You can't really see those mountains. And we have the reflection of the sky right here. So, um, again, really clear symbols. Again, there are some symbols that I can already see that are going to give me some trouble. Let's take a look. Well, first of all, it's confetti, so I already don't like it, but that's just my opinion. I can still recommend it, even though I don't like confetti. So, let's take a look around. Now, this one doesn't have as many bad symbols, but there's some threes and twos right next to each other, and eights and fours, which I mix up. You see those twos and threes right there? Let me see if I can point them out right there. Yeah, those are going to be a little tricky, but there's not that many. The sky looks pretty good. So this one's probably the best so far. All right. Um, I mean, best so far at when it comes to being able to discern what symbol is what. So yeah, twos and threes I don't like um, normally. Now, actually, I want to take a look at something because I just noticed this. Ones are number one, twos are number two, threes are number three does that all the way through eight, which I like. Um, I don't know. It just helps me. Sorry, my finger's getting in the way. Which I like a lot um, because it just is, just takes out some confusion. So that I enjoy. Um, it's the same canvas. Also, the canvas itself, it's no diamond art club, of course, um, but it's normal oil canvas. I don't have any problem with that. Actually, it's a little sturdier than that, um, which I don't mind. I typically don't like sturdy canvases when they come rolled up, but this is a really nice canvas to have be sturdy. So good on ya, Art Dot, for making the canvas so nice, um, especially for the price. So I really like this picture in general. I, I, I forget if I already put it up, but I will put up the picture again, even though I might have already done it, um, just so you can compare. I'll put it over here, and you can compare with the picture right here. Um, so yeah, I, I like it. This is not going to be, I, I'm probably going to do this one last so far, um, because there's so much confetti and I do not like confetti as I've already said a couple times. So on to the next canvas. Um, we'll, co we'll come back to this canvas later. Um, all right. So, <gasps> Ooh, I like this one a lot. <laughs> I see color blocking. I like, um, 30 by 40 again, 16 colors. Ooh. Ooh, I like this one. Now, 16 colors. It's not that many colors, if I'm being honest. Um, but I think that, as I've said a couple times on this channel before, it doesn't matter how many colors there are, as long as they're used well. Of course, more colors is always better, but that doesn't mean that they're always used in a better way. So, okay. Immediately, we're taking a look, we're taking a look. Now, there's big blocks of these symbols. F and H. Can you tell the difference between that very quickly? Because I can't. Uh, this is going to be a problem. Because F and H are very similar. Oh, and there's N. Okay. I have a problem with this canvas. And that is that... There's F's and H's and N all right next to each other, and those symbols can get confusing. Especially, well, H can get confused with F and N. Um, F and N next to each other, I don't get confused as much, but still, I would change that 100%. Um, S and H, I'm going to get confused. Um, but luckily, well, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I will definitely do a whip and chat with this canvas. Or with any of the art doc canvases. Just to tell you my thoughts. And I could be making a big stink for nothing. But I think I'm going to have some problems. Wow, this voice crack. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but besides that, I really do like the image. Now, um, I don't know if you've noticed a shift in this review. Um, I'm a big worker. As in, I don't really care 
that much about the finished product. Well, I do care, of course. I want it to look good. But I am much more concerned about how easy this is going to be complete. Now, of course, there's color blocking everywhere. Um, and they did incorporate enough colors that I feel comfortable with this gradient. Oh, wait. Is there any 310 in any of these? Wait. I'm going back. There is no 310 in any of these canvases. That's impressive. Especially with this one because that looks like 310 to me. But it's not. It's a different color. <laughs> that is 939. Oh, of course. 939. Um, but I think, actually, it's really nice. Now, is it just me? Or do... We'll take a look at the image. I'm going to take a close look at that picture. Oh, I can't see. But is that... Are those ornaments? I don't know. Um, but I will be doing this one. Okay, I think... Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> All these are really pretty images. Um, I think that I'm going to be doing the one with the moon first. But let me... Okay. Final thoughts on this canvas. Nice. I like everything about it except for the symbol choice. And I haven't dwelled on the positives so far, but to me, the negatives are so much more important because, well, I like to work on things and the end product isn't as much of a concern. So we're gonna go back through these and, sorry, I'm gonna put the order back to normal. And we're gonna, we're gonna see the diamonds. Now I can already tell that they're gonna be nice because they have um, the silver band, but okay. So there, there's a code up here. There's WT five, six, and seven, I think. Five, six, seven, and two. Yeah, that makes sense. Five, six, that's five, or I see seven, six, two, and five. Okay. Um, and that corresponds to the number. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you in a little bit more detail. So you see this code up here. It says item. WT7, that's going to correspond with, let me show you. you see there's the DMC code, the number on the canvas, and then there's the item code. So th these diamonds go with this canvas. You can also tell by um, trying to match up DMC numbers. The problem with that for these canvases is that a lot of them are going to have similar DMC numbers. I'm not saying, actually, I see 161 for both of them, 318 for both of them. Three, three, six for both of them. So it could get a little bit tricky, but um, usually you want to go by the code. So we're going to start with this painting. I'm going to put the other ones aside for now. Um, and we're going to start with this one. So uh, actually, I do like to talk about ABs and special treatment diamonds. So we're going to do that first. Where to put them? I would put some in the snow, some um, crystals in the snow, because crystals aren't as out there as ABs. ABs will stand out. Crystals won't as much. I mean, of course, if you have the perfect matching DMC, it won't stand out as much, but I would recommend maybe, you could do a mix too, but I would recommend only doing one. Also, some yellow ABs would be really nice in this area, and that is a Christmas tree that is lit up, so you can also put some special crystals in there, or some sparklers, or whatever you'd like. Maybe just adorn it with some of your favorite um, Crystals, just like you would adorn a Christmas tree with your favorite ornaments. So, uh, also in this reflection down here, you could do something. Maybe here and here you could do something. Um, but that is up to you 100%. I'm just saying, if you have any extra ABs from a Diamond Art Club kit or, you know, any company that does special treatment, then, sorry, I'm going to try to move you guys up a little bit. Then you will, then you might want to put them in. I am a big fan of doing that, and sometimes I do it too much, but that is okay. You can never too much sparkle. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> I have I have messed up some canvases. Well, not messed up, but I've been too lazy to fix some canvases because I put too much sparkle on them. Um, so we're going to open up these diamonds if I can figure it out. Uh, crinkle noises ahead. I'm sorry I didn't see that. All right, so I like that it's all in one train. I think it is at least. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start from over here. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna show you the DMC numbers because uh, actually, do you want the DMC numbers? I want to look at the canvas or at the quality of these diamonds first. Okay, I'm gonna say this right now. These are exceptional. Do you see this? These are so sparkly. 
and they're so round. I see a couple minor imperfections, but I can still use those diamonds, and I, I won't be picking them out, but oh. Oh, wow. Okay, let, these are some medium colors. Let's look for a darker color. Now, you can probably see what I'm seeing, but those are nice. Uh, we will be going through these again to just look at the DMC. And look at this color. Because this is the darkest color we have. This is 9390. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm not seeing any problems with that. Um, let's take a look at this light color, too. Okay, yeah. And I'm not seeing a single piece of trash. Uh, so, let's go through this again. We have number one. I'm oh, sorry. Um, and by the way, I'm not going to be reading out... I'm not going to be reading out the DMC code, um, because you can see it, and I think I want to go a little bit faster. So we have number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten. Seventeen. 18 and 19. So there are 19 colors. We have everything. I'm not surprised. Um, it's a kind of boring palette, but of course this is a winter scene and snow is a thing and this is a snowy painting. So I'm not surprised. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to put these diamonds away and we will discuss. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this canvas. Um, and then we'll do a full company review at the end, but final thoughts on this canvas. This is really good. There are a couple confusing symbols, but that's going to be with every kit you get most of the time. With a lot of kits you get, I mean. Um, especially for the price, I don't mind it, but it will be a little bit hard to do. This is my second favorite uh, image that has nothing to do with the... Well, this is my sec second favorite image to work on, I think. Um, and I, I really like it. Um, I my, my recommendations. I wish that they measured true to size or at least they were closer because they weren't, this one in particular was not super close. Um, and also, ABs would be nice. <laughs> Everyone's gonna say that ABs would be nice. I don't expect it from a company that's, that's selling less than $4 kits. Um, but you know, that, that, that is completely, so that's just something that's extra. I have ABs so I can, put them in if I want. Um, also, third thing, print quality is great, but there are some symbols that I will not be able to recognize, um, and I might have a hard time recognizing, and that's a problem that might need to get fixed. So, this canvas is great. Um, the diamonds are amazing, the canvas is sparkly, the glue is nice and sticky, there are 19 colors, and I'm sure that's gonna be enough. It seems like they put time and effort into this, and the packaging is fantastic. The branding is fantastic. The pictures that they chose are also great. So, really, I like this canvas a lot. Just the things that are wrong with it are pretty big. So, um, I'm going to put these two aside, and we're going to pull out our next one, which is my favorite one. Um, that still stands. This is the one that I'm going to be doing first. Let me find the diamonds for this. So this is six. Number six. I, yeah, I can recognize diamonds because of the unique color palette. So, well, sort of unique. More unique than the other ones. Let's talk about special treatment again. Definitely some special... I already talked about this one a little bit, but the stars, I think they require... <laughs> they are begging for something more. White diamonds are not going to cut it for me. But they will work, and it will look fantastic either way. Um, but I'm going to do something a little bit more special... The moon's really pretty. The clouds look so soft. Um, looks really great. Now, I'm not going to go through the drill quality necessarily. Uh, because we know that it's there and it's from the same supplier. And it is really fantastic. We're going to look at this image again. Oh, uh, also special enhancements. Maybe some in here. Maybe some down here. What is that? I have no idea what that is. I will put another picture up. <laughs> um, I don't know. Are those like street lights or something? I don't know. Um, but I would put... See here too. What are those? Oh, I guess it's like the snow twinkling. Okay, I would put some um, crystals in there. But sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, I like this canvas a lot. 
this is my favorite one. There are some problems with it, and same problems, so we're not going to go through that. But, um, is this the one? Yes, it is. This is the color palette. It's very similar. It's just a lot darker, and there's no yellows. Well, there, there's some browns. That's kind of yellow, actually, right there. But, um, not too many. Really nice color palette. Um, I, I don't want to take them out and put them back in, because this video is already getting long. Um, what is this, 25 minutes? I don't know. Um, so we're gonna go on to the next one. This one is probably the most disappointing one for me, simply because it's a lot of confetti and a lot of symbol. Well, actually, I think this one has some of the easiest to see symbols, but still, I think I would have appreciated it better, or appreciated it more if they had put a little bit more effort into it. Um, I, I bet you that when I work on this, I won't have any problems, but still, it's just the idea. Um, and because I couldn't tell some symbols apart on the other canvases, it makes me look really hard on this canvas. So, it makes me look for imperfections more when something's already wrong. So, um, at least they're consistent, okay? <laughs> um, so, this is the color scheme. Pretty normal. <laughs> Um, but that's okay. It is a themed pack, so I'm not surprised. Um, and enhancements, to be honest, this one I wouldn't put too many enhancements. Maybe in here, maybe in here because it's light. Um, maybe, actually, I would put some glistening in the snow. Nothing up here. Um, for realism, the sake of realism, of course, diamond paintings aren't realistic, but, well, most of them aren't, but... Still, um, and also, hmm, in the sky, I don't think I'd put anything in the sky, but it is a really beautiful sunrise. I will be doing this one eventually, I promise, because these are some canvases that I'm itching at to work, I'm itching to work on, not itching at. <laughs> um, I, I should do this, I think. So yes, uh, really, wait, really nice stuff. Uh, again, same problems, same strengths, um, but that, yeah, I'm excited to work on that one. But I'm not excited for the confetti parts. <laughs> That's my per personal preference. Um, this is the final one. So enhancements. We're gonna talk about that. I don't know. I, don't, I like talking about enhancements. I think some nice deep blue enhancements would look really good. Um, where there's T's. You see these T's? They would look really good. Just like a couple of them sprinkled in there. Uh, maybe on the tree a little bit. I'm definitely gonna put those there. Um, some glistening in the snow, of course, as I said before. Some yellow ABs in the windows. Some white ABs sprinkled in there. Actually, I'm, I'm going to show you a thing. So, um, I have... I don't know if, I, if I'm ever going to post this video, but I have canvases that look like this. Um, sorry, this is the one that I started a while ago, and I said... Or, I started last night, and I said I didn't like it because there was a lot of confetti. Um, I put ABs in here. And I'm going to do that for all of the canvases. I did that for the Halloween one, too. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the post review for that yet. But I did complete a Halloween canvas. And it's from the same multi-pack. Or same, like, image idea. So I'm, I'm going to do that with as many of them as I can. I don't know. I just like it. And this is a very similar idea. That was a big tangent. I'm sorry if you guys don't like tangents. Um, we have some nice yellow. I don't know if this has... If this is a Christmas tree or just a pine tree with some interesting shading um, and highlights. So I will have to check that. I will put it up on the screen if I would put enhancements there or not. Um, I guess actually here I would definitely put enhancements. And in fact, I would spread that out a little bit more. I don't know. I, I just think that there's not enough. It, that looks a little random, doesn't it? So you can either remove that completely or enhance that. Of course, there's a risk of it looking bad because <laughs> I'm not the best at that. And I don't know if you guys are good at, as bad as I am about doing my own thing, but, um, so yeah, really nice. Oh, color scheme, the same old, same old, dark greens, dark grays, and blues of all sorts, and light grays. There's some yellow in there too. Um, so yeah, let me bring everything back up. I'm not going to cut because eh, it takes longer for me to upload. And we're going to do final thoughts. So, what are my final thoughts? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, let me get the box. 
we're gonna start from the beginning and finish at the end with my ideas. So, first of all, really nice toolkit, really out there with the blue tray, so much wax. So it, it sort of makes up for the quality of the wax. Um, lots of multi-placers. They aren't the nice multi-placers, but they are multi-placers nonetheless. I like that they give you two trays. You can work on this with two friends if you'd like. Um, the, I didn't talk about the box. The box should have been first, but the box, really nice. I love the way, I love the packaging. I love the branding. I love the way that they come flat. Um, and I feel like the box opened differently for some people. I am not quite sure. We're going to put this behind me. Um, canvases as a whole, they look really nice. They feel really nice. There's lots of glitter, nice branding, and there's enough colors for the image. And I trust that there has been time and care put into this. Super, super, sp um, enhanceable, I guess. Um... And I love the pictures that they took, or that they chose. Um, so I, I would just have chosen different symbols, um, especially for the canvas. And um, the print quality is great. Um, but yeah, definitely different, different symbols. I would have liked that a little bit better. Also, they don't quite measure true to size or canvas size, so... Even though I do ask for a little bit of wiggle room, which I am going to give to them. Um, but these pictures are really nice, and I'm so excited to get to these. If I ever do. I, I probably will. I'm probably going to be able to finish two before Christmas. Um, then diamonds as a whole, from what I saw at least, they are really, really nice. have no complaints with those. Um, the drill quality is spectacular. And don't tell anyone, but they're better than Diamond Art Club. And I, I said it, I said it. I don't, I don't vibe with Diamond Art Club's diamonds, if I'm being honest. Um, so yeah. Now, here's the things that I would have changed. Um, and we're going to categorize these into hopes slash dreams and things that they sort of need to change. One, and this is going to be a need to change. Uh, they need to change the symbols. I've said this too many times in this video, and it's getting a bit redundant, but... It's important. And I guess I only have one of each. One dream that I would have is ABs, because these would work with ABs so well. But for the price, it's perfect, in my opinion. Um, so I think that concludes this unboxing. I don't want it to end. I really don't. I want to keep these paintings out, and I probably will, but I want to do these paintings right now. So <laughs> I'm going to sign off, and I'm going to start these paintings. So Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.